Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in wave propagation. We're discussing ionospheric propagation and today we'll talk about maximum usable frequency. We've already talked about critical frequency which is fixed for a layer and it is the highest frequency that can be reflected back from that layer at a vertical incidence. So what we're talking about here is that for example, we we are talking about some layer of ionosphere at certain altitude and another layer at some different altitude. So if we send a signal vertically, it should bend gradually and reflect back from this layer and come back. And that maximum signal that we can send vertically is known as critical frequency for this layer right and if we wish to send another signal vertically that could be of higher frequency because we want it to bend from a higher altitude so that's the key point of defining critical frequency that it is certain for a certain layer and it is at vertical incidence but if we wish to increase the frequency of operation for a certain layer then what we can do is we can send that signal at some initial angle theta i with respect to normal that will facilitate the subsequent refractions happening at different layers and will eventually uh, make the signal turn back from the layer we wish it to turn back from and that frequency is known as maximum usable frequency for certain incidence angle so that is what we are going to talk about today so another point of interest is that if we do not send a vertical incidence signal then the frequency can be greater than that of the critical frequency and it can return back from the same layer a greater frequency can return back from the sa same layer if we send it at certain incidence angle and we know eta is sine theta i upon theta r angle of refraction and in the denominator and this is equivalent to 1 minus 81 n upon f square now theta is the angle of refraction and at the time of reflection from the layer it becomes 90 degree so when the wave comes back the denominator becomes 1 so eta becomes sine theta i and which becomes equivalent to this quantity now for any non vertical incidence your theta i must lie between 0 degree to 90 degrees that is understandable so sine theta i will lie between 0 and 1 so our eta will also lie between 0 and 1 so what I can put here is that my sine theta i is this quantity upon f m u f now please see the change here this frequency is now replaced with f m u f because for certain incidence angle the maximum usable frequency can be calculated for certain layer and we also know that fc is equivalent to 9 underscore m n m and squaring both sides we get this and i can substitute the value of this here it is fc square so a little bit of rearrangement here squaring both sides here and taking one on the other side gives me cos square theta and f m u f becomes f c secant theta i and this is also known as the secant law as mentioned here now once we have calculated f m u f we can define m u f in terms of the distance between the transmitter and the receiver the virtual height and the critical frequency this is another important topic in MUF for numerical purposes so we assume uh, the surface of the earth to be flat here and we take the uh, virtual height here not the actual height 
so that will make the mathematical calculation easier so this is transmitter and this is receiver and the ionosphere is acting like a mirror like reflector and theta i is equal to theta i here when the reflection occurs so very very typical case assumed case and this total distance is d and half of that is d by 2 because we are going to take this uh, triangle which is a right angle triangle and in the right angle triangle uh, TMO uh, TO is d by 2 MO is the virtual height and TM becomes equivalent to h square plus d by 2 square under root and cos of theta i will become h upon h square plus d by 2 square under root and a little bit of calculation here gives me cos theta i to be this and from the secant law we can express that fc square upon fm uf square was cos square theta i putting the value of this quantity in cos square theta i i get 4 h upon 4 h square plus d square and f m u f becomes equivalent to f c under root of 1 plus d square upon 2 h square under root. So this expression is the final expression which relates your maximum usable frequency to critical frequency, your skip distance and your virtual height. So very very important uh, expression the maximum usable frequency expressed in terms of d h and f c so that's about it for today's tutorial that's what i wanted to discuss about muf we can do a few numericals if you wish and but the numericals are pretty simple you are given with a uh, few values and you need to find the other ones and i hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up consider subscribing share this video amongst your friend take care of your health and stay inside i'll see you around in the next video to come till then take care bye bye